I love traveling and I love traveling with my kids as well. I know traveling with kids sometimes can be challenging, especially when long trips are involved. So in this video, I wanted to share with you a few tips that I learned in this year, traveling with my daughter Viola. My girl is now eight and I've traveled with her a lot. First because we live in London but we are Italian so we do back and forth quite a lot of time during the year. And second because um, I work as a blogger so I do travel a lot and I'm lucky enough to bring her with me sometimes for family trips. Of course every kid is different, every age is different and that what works for me and my daughter but I think it can entertain your kids as well. Before every trip we make a little backpack for her and we put a range of different things. This is a kit I tried for uh, flights but you can also use them in trains and in cars. It really depends on your kid. Like for example you can avoid some things if you suffer from motion sickness and add different things. That really depends on your kid but that's the basics that I really want to have with me every time I travel with my kid. The first one is, well, quite obvious, is a tablet. Having a few movies downloaded, um, having a few nice apps they can play with, uh, they can be uh, a mix of educational and entertaining games apps. That really helps and that keeps them entertained for long. Another thing I really like to bring along is an activity book. There are different brands and different kind of activity books. They usually involve uh, games that you can play with pen and paper or you can color, things you can draw or write. And it's a nice way to keep your kid entertained during flight. Pen and paper is something you really want to have. There are so many things you can do with them. Uh, they can draw, they can color, you can draw for them and they can color. You can play, you know, games like the hangman or I don't know, dots, line and dots. I really don't know the, the name of these games in English, but I will find out and write them down. If your kid is old enough to enjoy reading, a book is always a must. Their favorite toys, of course, my daughter's one are a doll and a koala plush and she always takes them with her in every trip and it's nice to have a picture of them in the different location, I think it's really sweet. A sticker book is one of our favorite things to bring. If the kid is younger, they probably need some assistance to peel the stickers off without breaking them and to stick them properly, but you know, from the age of six, five, six, they're totally able to do them themselves. And it's really good fun and some books have different activities. They can draw, they can, you know, color in the stickers, they can write, they can read the book itself. So it's really nice. The last thing you don't want to forget is some snacks and water. Uh, snacks uh, are very important because the kids get easily annoyed if they're hungry and you don't want to keep them waiting for the food trolley to come, especially if the flight is long. You just want to make sure you have something to give them if they're hungry. I usually bring with me a sandwich and chocolate and some almonds, but of course again it depends on what your kid likes. Water is really important. It's uh, quite easy to get dehydrated during long flights so make sure you always have some water for yourself and for your kids and drink plenty of that. Last but not least, a uh, really easy and nice way to keep your kids entertained during flights is just to talk with them and get them excited about the destination you're going to visit. We recently visited Madagascar and we brought them a guide with pictures and during the flights we were talking with Viola about the destination, asking her questions about what, what was she most excited about and we talked about all the animals she was going to see and all the things we were going to do. You can show them a map of the destination and it's really nice and I think get them excited about what you're going to do next and what is going to happen during the trip is a really nice way to yeah to educate them to appreciate every moment and every bit of the trip
I hope these tips were useful to you. Please give me your suggestion as well. Tell me your travel stories with kids or if you have any other tip, just leave a comment. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, especially if you like travel. And if there's any other topic about traveling with kids that you would like me to cover, just let me know. Thank you and yeah, have lovely trips with your kids.